channel and if you're new, welcome! Today I'm sharing a spring and Easter inspired tablescape and some breakfast and brunch ideas. So if you're wanting to set up something beautiful for an Easter breakfast or host a spring brunch sometime, I hope that you get some ideas and enjoy today's video. I'm going to set up our tablescape here in our dining table. So I'm just going to remove the vase and florals for right now and give it a good wipe down. I'm going to use the Method All Purpose Cleaner in the scent Lime and Sea Salt, which smells really good and refreshing for spring. And I get a lot of questions on our dining table. I really wish that I can link it for you guys. It's from Wayfair and we got it several years ago. And every time I go to the website, I check and it's just not available it doesn't even show up so if I ever do find it I will link it in my videos and for the table runner I'm using the chiffon material that I picked up from Hobby Lobby it's a really easy and inexpensive way to create a table runner and I've been able to use it for several tablescapes I used it for Thanksgiving and Christmas and I love that I'm able to use it for spring as well and on the ends I'm just tying some bows I actually already had this ribbon from our wedding so I'm just creating some long slouchy bows just to give an elegant and delicate touch and then also that pop of color for Easter. I think the bows turned out beautiful. I think it's the soft and perfect touch for spring. And for the tablescape, I'm gonna be using fresh flowers. I picked up some hydrangeas and roses from the grocery store, and I'm gonna be creating a floral arrangement. And I think using fresh flowers for a tablescape is perfect for spring or Easter. And the colors, I think, just go great with this season. And this is the bowl that I want to use for the floral arrangement and since it has that hole in the middle and it's wood I wanted something else to hold the water so I'm using this dish I actually thrifted it and it was like four dollars so a really good find and that's where I'm gonna be putting the flowers and it just fit perfectly in that bowl If it's your first time here, I'm so happy that you're watching. My name is Lorena and I'm a wife and dog mom and we live in Texas and I'm also an elementary school teacher and I really enjoy making these videos. I love anything home decor and cleaning and organizing, just anything related to home. So if you enjoy any of that, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. And if you're new, introduce yourselves in the comments. Tell me a little bit about you. I would love to get to know you. And I'll also leave my Instagram handle here I post some home decor ideas there as well so you can find me there And I love how it turned out. I think it's just perfect for the center of the table. And off to the sides, I'm gonna be adding some roses. I have a little bit more of pops of colors for the roses. And I'm just gonna be adding some drinking glasses that we already have. Just cutting the roses short, putting them there. And I think it just added a really pretty pop of color.
and I actually set up this tablescape the day before we did a little brunch it was just my husband and my mom and we invited over two friends but my mom is here from out of town and she actually leaves in a couple of days from now so I just wanted to do something special for her and just set up something nice for breakfast and she actually helped me with breakfast the next morning but I always find it helpful to set up a tablescape the day before I'm actually gonna have someone over or do anything special it just makes it easier And for the placemats, I'm using these that I got from Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys. I love that they're really neutral, so they go with pretty much any tablescape. I've used them for Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I love that it just can go with any season. And then for the plates, I'm using these beautiful white and gold plates that we got for a wedding gift. I love that again they're neutral and I can use them pretty much for any season. I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional about what I buy for my decor so I love that these can be used for any tablescape and I don't have to just buy new ones for each tablescape that I do. And for the napkins, I'm doing two different looks. I couldn't decide which one I liked better, so I figured I would just do both to give you two different ideas. And this one is perfect for Easter. I'm just folding it into a triangle and then just folding it down several times. And then I'm gonna create some bunny ears using a faux egg as the little face. So I just have these little eggs that I got from Target several years ago. So I'm just setting that in the middle and then just folding it over just to create the little look of ears. You can tie it, you can add a little flower at the top. I just kept it pretty simple and just folded it and it looks really cute for Easter. And for the second look, it's also really simple. I'm just folding it over into a long rectangle and then just tying a knot. And it just gives a really pretty knot look. And then I'm just setting it off to the side and then the other side I'm putting some greenery. And it's just a really simple but I think perfect look for spring. So I did two of the bunnies and then two of the other look and I think together they just look really beautiful. And I just did the really simple silverware setting starting on the right with the knife followed by the spoon and then on the left side the fork and that's it since it's just brunch. But if you want to learn how to do the fancier silverware setting, I always just look on Pinterest and I did it in my Thanksgiving and Christmas tablescapes videos. So if you want to look back, I mean, we're not even in that season, but just in case. But I really love how this spring tablescape turned out. I think it's beautiful. I just added some faux eggs and the mini moss balls and I love it and I think it's perfect for spring and my mom really loved it too so I was really glad. The next morning, my mom and I were up early to work on some food for brunch and I'm starting with a charcuterie board and I'm just washing the fruit. I think something like this is really easy to do when you are hosting and just fun to do for a holiday and 
I really love how this one turned out. I'm starting with the cutting board and then just putting some cherry preserves into a little dish with some crackers. I got this one from Trader Joe's and it is really good. Highly recommend it. Most of the items that I'm using for the charcuterie board are from Trader Joe's. I just used some three different cheeses, some meats, some treats and fruits and it turned out really good. I don't know if there's any rules to doing charcuterie boards but for me I kind of just spread stuff out till it looks good and either way it's gonna taste good so I really don't feel like you can go wrong. And to incorporate some Easter, I'm using some Peeps. I feel like people either love these or hate them. And I'm like, eh, about them. I feel like I can have one and that's enough. But I'm using some strawberries to prop them up. And I think that they just look really cute. And it's just perfect if you're going to do an Easter charcuterie board. And then the fruit just adds all the pretty color as well. And then I'm also adding some Reese's eggs. And it's just delicious, but also gives that look for Easter. And then I just added some dried oranges which also added a really good pop of color and then at the end I added some Jordan almonds, which I regret doing that. I should have just put them in a little dish because they get kind of melty and sticky. So if you're going to do anything like that, I would recommend putting it in a little candy dish or something. But I really love how it turned out. Let me know if you guys have any like plans to make any special foods for Easter. I would love to know. After the charcuterie board, I also made little mini bunny waffles, which I'll show you guys in just a second. I'll link this a bunny waffle maker. I got it from Target. They might still have it at your Target. Super simple to make and it makes them into like little mini ones, which I love. I made a few and they just look adorable, especially if you have kids. I think that they would absolutely love this. And one more super easy idea that you can do for brunch is just doing little yogurt parfaits. I love this because it's really simple to make and yummy and I think it just has those Easter colors. I just did blueberries at the bottom, some strawberry yogurt, and then granola on top and that's it. And my mom also helped me make some eggs and hash browns and turkey bacon and we just enjoyed breakfast. Everything was really yummy and I really hope that you got some ideas if you want to do something for Easter, a tablescape, some brunch ideas, whatever it is. I hope that you got some inspiration. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it and if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you next time.